You know, I, I actually decided I'm going to do the part number two about this thing because it's it's a really big issue. And once I started recording this stuff, let me tell you something that you it's it's all about the the level of the human conscience you are capable to bring your mind about. What well, this is not possible it's not possible uh what i stated to you under circumstances you would undergo i just realized how big this shit is because i didn't i wasn't aware i'm telling you one hour ago i wasn't aware till i video recorded this video i'm referring to i was not even aware about how big this thing is, why, why this is so, why this stuff is so dangerous, I had no idea about why this, this stuff is so dangerous, this stuff, you know, how, you know, predictable violence or artificial intelligence, what it is, because artificial intelligence is what was accident to me, it's, really a predictability based on torture and something else I have failed to mention. Um, you know, um, this is what my complaint to United Nations against the British Royals, against the Dutch Royals, against Norwegian Royals, against Spanish Royals, the only royals I'm going to leave out of this are Japanese royals. I am not going to touch them. And that's because of uh, respect I hold for Oriental culture, Oriental race, Asian race, literally out of respect for these people. And I was warned about using even the language such as Oriental. I like it. So much I like it that the only people I'm going to leave, the only royals, and even against the Monaco royals, I'm going to go, even this. I want to trace every fucking one of you, and I want to destroy you because of this. Destroy you. Out of respect, I am going to let Japanese royals only out of this business of mine. I think they are very good people, honorable people, and just like everyone else in part of the world, very dangerous part of the world, were forced into this crazy game by no other than 1-800-London-Cabal. Not even Swedish royals are going to be spared of this, because you're not my friends. You claimed you were my friends, you were my enemies, you are not my friends. You don't do the stuff like this to your friends. You don't do the stuff like this. The friends take care of the friends. What you did is not good. This is not friends. This is something else. I'm telling you, one hour ago, I was not self-aware. I, I did not understood what the fuck went on. Now I do past few years you have seen nothing when it comes to royals except the tragedy in a parenthesis between Harry Meghan a comedy they orchestrated engineered against the Buckingham Palace and that was to camouflage that was to take eyes away from what you see here Prince Harry engaged severely in a torture with Meghan Merkel. There were no exception to the rule I am talking about right now. In the game, as my game was, which I lost, based, I lost 28 years of life and health. Everything that is dear to one in life 
including spine. A humiliation factor was used. Um, years. I stated that I was drugged up three years. I walked three years drugged up. I walked. I was drugged up for three years. I walked three years drugged up. When you have a police officer sleeping next to you, when you have a police officer walking, hiking with you, and you are drugged up 24-7, even when you sleep and you wake up next to him, and he is interpreting every millimeter around you in your environment because they move inside of your house. They cook inside of your house. They load the furnace. They are inside of your house during the summer, during the spring, during the fall, and during the winter. They go, they take you, not they go with you, because you don't do any of that, to the neighbors. They traveled with you throughout Slovenia. They traveled with me to locations. I should refer to as terror cells around the world to get extremely familiarized with the people and the type of violence used and prescribe the violence, abuse, so it could be more potent. Assist royals in violence against you inside of your own room after the violence was exercised inside of your room in front of the laptop for you to memorize about the death threats, about humiliations, about torture that you they exercised and it would be released through the mainstream media news. The one deserved more than anything than anybody since 1995 is Western journalism. Thousands of journalists that traveled inside of this house from CNN, from BBC, from Guardian, from Express UK, from Mirror, from New York Times, Los Angeles Times. Their owners, Murdochs. People who literally own this mainstream media. They were a bigger machinery in this crime than anybody else. Bigger. It was the power engine. It was, you know, I thought about the Booster Rhymes. Who was involved in this crime? And he released this song, Fire Up. And brainwash me on the computer, basically on how to see this, uh, because he talk about a news cannon, news cannon, you know, news cannon, where is the news cannon? Yeah, news cannon, that he accented me how important it is, your media, your news, and so on and so forth. No, 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 fuck that. What he was doing through my eyes, the way I see it is, as they claim, oh, how this news, how this media is powerful, and you fight through the media, you fight through, yeah, you know what the truth is? The news cannon is something else. The news cannon is basically what I told you. The news cannon is hiding through the mainstream media, through the news networks, what really, really, really matters to humanity and promoting the stuff that oftentimes shouldn't even be there. And oftentimes to the victim in the name of help, in the name of assistance. You know, British royales interpreted to me crime as a form of help, something that would remind me. And if I go to this British networks, mainstream networks, they involve the people, numerous people, that were involved in MKUltra and they write all kinds of news about these people. 
And it was all about identify, identify, identify this uh, and identify that and so on. No, it's not about identify. I identified a lot of people. You go to my new site and you're going to see here on the side, you're going to see probably more than 1,000 people I identified. I don't know how many I have not even placed on the internet. Because it doesn't make fucking sense to put people you identify on the internet. What makes sense is to understand what the fuck is going on. Why this kind of stuff. These are, this is buildings, houses, cities identified. The thing is that it doesn't make any sense to post all this online if you do not understand the concept behind all this stuff. You know, mother orchestrated accordingly with the psychiatric instructions, accordingly with the police, Slovenian police instructions, you possibly could not imagine what kind of environment, what kind of sub subliminary, if you want to call this. These are not subliminary. This is bullshit. Signs around you. Leaving all kinds of stuff that really, at times, really, really disturbing stuff that I'd not even dare about to write about because everything my mother did, and it was criminal, it was based on my neighbors brainwashing my brain with Sebastian, they're going to take your mother. Sebastian, they're going to take your mother. They're going to take your mother. And from her point of view, that was interpreted to me with variety of signs she left around me. It's at any time the police is going to come and he's going to take her and you're going to be left with the money and you're going to be broke and you're going to be homeless. And I'm the one who paid and this and that. I had no fucking idea what this, all this thing, why is it that on every millimeter, every inch of the way, that every time when I go out of the house, I see these people around me. What the fuck do they want? Why is it that nobody from United Nations, nobody from Amnesty International, Interpol, International Police Association or other law enforcement agencies such as Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation would not stop by and express concern for this. It, it makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. It totally makes sense. It makes sense because of this picture here, which is based on the video you see right there. If you want to bring about an individual because I couldn't, I, I didn't really understand why is it that psychiatrist Peter Kops was involving everywhere people that uh, he would go out on the street and have me rate them uh, as if who would win. He wanted to literally see me through the physical violence, basically, uh, uh, see co me contact with the people, a little bit of physical violence. It, it makes sense. It totally makes sense. Because it's important if you want to bring individual to step from his reality into the world of MK Ultra into the violence, it's important to make him revive the memories, to identify the people, the buildings, the places, to keep him on toes all the fucking time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not artificial intelligence. This is not artificial intelligence. This is what psychiatrists have believed are going to develop a bipolar personality based on torture. You have to understand that for every step, for every little stone they placed around the house, it was MK Ultra torture they exercised. So now you create what they what they have seen us. You know they have seen this as there was this uh, Norwegian psychologist who stated me Rebecca Erbot is her name, and she stated to me she said to me there is no difference between the paranoia between the schizophrenia, she said, not paranoia, but between the schizophrenia and uh, MK Ultra, she stated to me. No, 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 no. 
there is a paramount difference. There is enormous, 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 enormous difference. It's a difference like a night and day. Nobody, nobody possibly can prove you that you have a schizophrenia as long as you don't step out of your world into the world of madness. Madness is a torture. Torture, a physical torture is a madness. That's a brainwash based on violence, terror, involving beautiful women, uh, involving supercars, all kinds of shit. The British royales involved in it, in this crime. They financed, they sponsored this crime at large. As long as you don't step from your skin into the world of non-existing, existing only during, or I should say through the use of drugs, there is a big fucking difference between the schizophrenia and between reality. Reality is torture. A schizophrenia is the inability to see between the torture and between the reality. So this is, these are a very, very important for me, extremely, extremely important cornerstones that I have to establish for myself and hopefully also for other people, for many other people around the world that are in my skin. You see, I'm afraid Slovenia stated that it's important to invest into artificial intelligence and so on and so forth. There is no fucking artificial intelligence. I would know of. Um, to me, artificial intelligence did not apply, not even in a single little fucking fuckliest way. But there is one thing that did apply it in my life. Stones. I'm not going to say grass. But entire sessions, 24-hour sessions of MK Ultra, I have gone through. As soon as they realize you are doing something or you are searching something and they see that through the computer, they see that through the stuff you do in your room, whether that be to repair something, that you need something or whatever, the only thing they would do because of what I stated, because of so many years of torture under MT Ultra, the only thing that they did is basically they copy paste, they replicate the situation from MK Ultra, whether you like it or not, into your real life. You can already expect what is waiting on you as you go down the street towards stores, or you go down the street hiking, or you go down whatever, and all that stuff more or less also is coordinated with all kinds of mainstream media news they release. So yes, if you want to destroy individual then you have to do exactly what I stated uh, on this video here which I have pointed out so nicely for people to understand the difference between the artificial intelligence I don't think that we should be afraid of artificial intelligence because the fear itself will not apologize creation of one. I'm sure that every one of you is aware that you will not be able to hide yourself from artificial intelligence. And I'm sure that you also understand that with the arrival of artificial intelligence, there will be a severe intrusion into lives of people. But the bigger problem than something that you cannot avoid, obviously, are ethics which Slovenian nation whatsoever have absolutely none. Slovenian nation sold its independence, its sovereignty, for the Austrian shillings, for the Deutsche Marks, for the British pounds, and so on and so forth for American dollars. That's what they did. The people who do the stuff like this literally sell their sovereignty. They 
place their fates in the hand of somebody else because there is no apology for the crime as such. For destroying somebody 28 years of life with the hope that one eventually will lose himself rather than to come to him at home and say, you know what? It was this and this and this and this. They hunted me down for 28 fucking years. This is what I call lost nation. Nation at no point of return. And it's just a matter of time. A big difference between predictable violence and artificial intelligence. If you want to put an individual, if you want to put the individual in a frame in through which you are going to depict one as a violent, paranoid schizophrenic, this is what the Slovenian Psychiatric Association, Slovenian Psychiatry have labeled me with, branded me with, for the sake of Milosevic, for the sake of Alexander Vucic, for the sake of Vladimir Putin, for the sake of Danilo Turk, for the sake of Tanya Fayon, for the sake of Borut Pahor. We have Natasha Pierce Musar now, how about that one? For the sake of all these Milan Kuchan patriots, then you have to continually exercise against one foremost procedure which is based on violence. So you keep one on the toes every minute, every second of the day. And that will involve absolutely every aspect of his life, such as the mainstream media, all kinds of threats, uh, In this case, obviously, unprecedented threats, unprecedented stuff, unprecedented stuff. Worse than somebody's going to kill you out on the street. Keep in mind, I was forcefully hospitalized. I know is a paranoid schizophrenic in 2013, 2015, filled with the pills, with the psychiatric pills, which very likely were not even psychiatric pills but was something else that was used. Torture to the brink that oil literally was dripping from my forehead due to unbearable suffering, physical pain, which those drugs brought me. And this shit went on for several years. Refer to me as a dead man walking. How many of threats we are coming to pick you up at any time. Do you think, based on denial of the right to be examined inside of the hospital, spine injury-wise, cancer-wise, thrombosis-wise, how many do you think the fuck I got? Well, this is Slovenia, this is how Slovenia did for 28 years, and I think Slovenia will not win this war. Slovenia can win this war, they, Slovenia can get me, eventually they can get me killed, but there is something I will never ever, for the love of the world, will never ever give up, and that's a criminal claim against Slovenia, a genocidal murderous ethnic cleansing claim against Slovenia. Whether I would be, whatever I would be, whatever nation I would be, I don't think there is a country that had the right to exercise against anyone something like this, like Slovenia did. Slovenia have seen her existence through the use of violence against me. And I believe that as such is a threat to the world, to humanity. It's a two million people. Which, however, have spread 
a form of violence unto the rest of the world. They forced violence unto the rest of the world, which consumed entire Balkans during the war on Balkans. And today we can see the bloodshed also in Ukraine. Much of it with the Vladimir Putin, most of it was done right here inside of this house in Slovenia. So, there is a special interest. It's 1-800-LONDON-CABAL. Special interests. And there also was Slovenia. But as for the people, I don't think that the people globally, worldwide, it could be so fucking evil that would have and would go about to bring about this kind of stuff to anybody in the world. This is a very, very, very exceptional country, Slovenia. Um, you know, I wish my father, my grandfather was not, was not, uh, such an important man during the World War II when uh, he became really a hero he sided with the partisans with the national resistance against the Nazis against the Italian fascists because you know why I wish this because you know I don't see myself in this country at all I don't see myself in Slovenia in any way I have a very very shitty taste in my throat when I think about that I was brainwashed as a child how the Adolf Hitler was trying to kill every one of us, wipe us out as a nation, as this, as that. And unfortunately, it's true. Unfortunately, that's true. But when I think about the stuff I have stated to you right now, I am just going to stop here because... The world is, the world defeated, you know, the world defeated through this case, the world simply defeated itself. Now I understand actually the words of this individual, this Hollywood actor, bigger than worlds. Bigger than life. This is not life. This is a lie. That's not what life is about. This is this comic, I don't know, Prince from Bel Air, whatever his name is. From Miami, this dude. Who made another movie, whatever, and was making fun of me, bigger than world, bigger than life, bigger than this and that. You know, the thing is that this is this shit is not funny to me. I don't know if you understood the weight of my words, what I stated to you right now. You definitely got me out of my skin. You know, you definitely got me out of my skin through the shit you did. And you consumed me 28 years of life. But at the same time, what have you done to yourself? What have you done to your own principles? What have you done to your United Nations code? To your, uh, to your, to the promise of the United Nations, how the, what world is going to be based upon? So what the fuck the world is going to be based upon, you tell me? Turning what? Grandsons of uh, those that fought against the fascism, against the Nazism, into a Nazis, into the fascist, through the stuff I'm talking about? And so that you can acknowledge them as a Nazis and then basically, uh, what, jail them, destroy them through psychiatry? I don't know what to tell you, the brave new world, how brave are you? How how brave are you to accept the responsibility for the stuff like this? That you have actually need, you went down on the knees, I can't breathe in front of Slovenia. You went on knees in front of Slovenia.
I think that you traded your sanity for complete lunacy. You settled for the world of violence. It's known as a MK Ultra violence. It's not that anything stopped as Bill Clinton claimed that, that it was some kind of unethical experience. You know, fuck this. How ethical is this stuff I'm talking about right now? And how much responsibility, even more importantly, so how much responsibility have you taken for it, for exercising all that violence? I have go, I, this started with Bill Clinton. You went on under George Bush. It went on under Barack Obama and each of these people had two presidencies. It finally landed in Donald Trump's hand, hands, and now in Joe Biden. And it's just, it appears to me that, that there is a hope that people, that people are still not losing the hope. But what kind of hope is this? There is bloodshed over there in Ukraine, a terrible one. You think that what you're doing to me is bringing a blessing to your families, to your society. That your claims used to literally hide what I state to you here right now. You think that your claims are legitimate, they are legit, as long as it's the mainstream media that is writing about it. And if that's not going to be enough, you're sure going to do, you're sure all going to what? You're going to go and you're going to orchestrate something else? You know, I don't even see the difference between you, the people anymore, and between the people that I mentioned earlier and between the royals. Where the hell are you running all? Where, where is this, this whole thing? Where is this going down the hill? Do you still remember how it all even started? And where over the course of the years you have taken this whole thing to? When are you planning to stop this and reverse this? When are you trying to normalize this situation? I don't think that ever. I think what we have going on is the beginning of the Third World War. We are in the middle of the Third World War. It just needs to take a full scale, and I don't think that we are far from it. Slovenian police, Slovenian psychiatry played a decisive role a jump starting, jump starter, jump starting of in the World War Three. A decisive role, an extremely, extremely important predictable, based on predictable violence a role, which however after 28 years of war have lost against me, have bent down on knees against me. I never understood, I never understood really how, how big this case is. I, I did not understood why was it, why it had to be this way. Why is it that, that everything I do, everything I go, everything I read, that is just filled, packed with mainstream media is misinformation, misinformation. Well, you can present certain news to hundred people, different people, to each with a different view on one. If you have them drugged up, you can interpret them with the use of violence to every one of them. You can interpret the news, the same news you're going to publish on the mainstream media in a different form, in a different way. Listen, I'm not even doubting that that stuff is actually happening. 
But for how long? This is a question for United Nations. How long can this stuff go for? When are your limits to this stuff? When do you actually stop and say, hey, you know, uh, it was all about he didn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know. He is, um, he, he's not aware of it. He, he doesn't know what, the, what goes on. He, he, he doesn't understand what goes on. Uh, he's not capable. Uh, he can't point out. He doesn't know what goes on. He, 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 you know. Where is that stuff now? I'm missing that stuff now. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. So now, when it's obvious with so many proofs that I have, the only way to go, it's like a broken plate, like a broken record plate, is but just to basically repeat the violence, the procedure, block on every step of the way, uh, just increase this into, into what? Into, into some kind of what? What? What the fuck you want to see me? What do you want from me? You want to see me homeless on the street or what is it you want to do? Man, let me explain to you something. If I'm dead tonight, I don't give a three fucks about. Now you know who I am. You understand me what the fuck I said? If I drop dead tonight and I don't wake up tomorrow in the morning, at least I'm going to know. I lived. I was alive. But the last thing I'm going to do to myself, to two mistaken people like this here, for the friends. Because for 28 years I was misguided with Dutch, Prince William, with Norwegians that you see right there, with a Spanish, with all sorts of royalties, as the one on my side, as the one on my friends, even that occasionally they engaged, not occasionally, but frequently too, claiming that it's not them, they have to have engaged in violence against me. Now that would be a fuck up, that would be really a tragedy to go and fucking die believing there is actually somebody out there that, that somebody actually cares about you that's that somebody out there that you're special to one that he cares about you now that would be what i call a fuck up this people right there that you see this people will fucking hijack you make you disappear then you're gonna die in their hands the only thing is gonna happen is the same fucking laughter that you see on their faces will continue to go with much of the world not even knowing the truth or daring to ask what really fucking happened. So whatever happens to me, I'm going to tell you like this, a blood stain is going to stay on this nation right here, Slovenian nation. Because from my claims, I'm not giving up even millimeter. It's never going to be washed away, this. No matter what. I'm going to repeat to you in case you did not understood me in that uh, video of mine I have created prior to this video. Under MK Ultra, you go through the violence, terror, death threats, all kinds of threats, which they are supported with completely with the world of surroundings, not only inside. I told you they moved inside here, summer, fall, spring, winter time. Occupied every aspect of life they designed for me, I will go through. Before they hospitalized me in 2013. Keep in mind, they started to bring me inside of the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polje, from United States of America already in 1996. So, you are talking about 70 years already inside of the psychiatric hospital when you are drugged up before you even arrive there. 
Is that good? I'm using this as an example because they occupied absolutely every aspect of life to accomplish their goal. So this MK Ultra, MK Ultra level of violence that enters your life, if you want to say this into subconscious, was equal through the words of psychiatrists and psychologists to me during MK Ultra is the world within which no actual difference exists between a schizophrenia and the one uh, they did to me. That there is no, there is absolutely no difference. That this is exactly what it is. This is, this is, because I was telling them, this is not schizophrenia. If you have been drugged up and you're doing this stuff to me, how, what, what kind of paranoia, what kind of schizophrenia can that be? This and that. And it was, I watched this stuff. I watched how they told me it's going to be this, it's going to be that, it's going to be that. <laughs> I said to myself, <laughs> I said, fuck you. Uh, yeah, I was actually laughing to them about destroying me things and stuff like this. I, I figured out there is nothing you possibly can do. The thing is that if you are somewhat intelligent, if you are somewhat capable to carry on physically, because this is not about intelligence, to maintain intelligence you have to go physical, um, you can keep immune to these issues. But if you put your guards down and they lure you through this stuff, they tell you, oh, you, you identify this man and that house and that aunt right there, which I would not even survive without identifying all these people, in which plenty of violence is embedded. Like, like they, that's what they demanded from me. For every case they, they brought forward, they involved the violence in it. That's how fucked up this stuff is. And for every case they develop, for every MKR case they develop, they created 10 scenarios. This girl is from the apartment building, which is located, I don't know where. Uh, uh, on the next scenario, the same girl was located from another house, God knows where. In another scenario, this very same girl was located, God knows where the fuck. Ten lies for every fucking person you need to choose in between, in which heavy violence also is embedded inside. That's what this case is all about. You know, you can only survive if you point out exactly the one that is somewhere written by the record. I figure out that saying stuff that, and that have fr happened frequently with the West, they have people saying from the West, identifying people, and they would not confirm stuff. Why the fuck do you come in my face? Meeting people through social networks and stuff like this. Why the fuck do you meet me so that you can go to your owner over there in London and say that he identified me, but I didn't say anything, and he says, good job, here is more shillings to you? Fuck this. This is, this is very, very bad. This is, this is, <laughs> this is not game. You know what this is? You know what kind of colors these are? So, luring the person into this, on this level, you know, on this same level, and support this with the continuous destruction of the property around him. Finally, now I understand it does make sense because, you know, if you are, uh, if you are down here, you're going to have to make a step. You're going to have to make a step up here, right? Uh, you have to put effort to make a step up here, right? But now if you're on the same level, uh, that just, you're going to walk from one or to the other into this world of MK Ultra. Uh, and maybe bring from this, yes, because to identify people, you have to go 
into the world of MKUltra torture. That's where your memories are stored. They are stored on the same film, on the same tape, as violence and everything else. You get it? So now, as long as you don't mix it up, this thing, when psychiatrists and psychologists say that this is the same thing like a schizophrenia and stuff, no, it's not. As long as you don't mix up these things, this is like a main, main difference between the two, you are okay as long as you keep this shit separate. As long as you obtain even the statements based on which the people you have identified, the buildings you, you manage to identify, cannot go and falsificate issues. In that form, I have to say that people are very, very helpful. The people did have this conscience in them that uh, obligated them. Uh, luckily, happily, they felt oftentimes that these people involved in MK that I felt that they sided with me. Most of the time, they did. They were relieved. They were happy to give me confirmation to say and help along the way. But it was also some insane fucking cookie story. I got some crazy fucking people too. But there is a difference. There is a huge difference between the schizophrenia. Listen. You motherfuckers. This is worst thing. You ran from Oslo, Norway to London during the World War II. And uh, from Holland, I don't know where the fuck you ran, probably to London and so on. Do you know what the fuck you did? This is 28 years of this you did. The average Auschwitz prisoner, I don't know how long they have one for. But what you have orchestrated is actually far worse because... I realized that you load individual with so many issues, mentally related issues, that individual cluster fucks himself. You make him started with, static with a forced unemployment. You know, most of you know that what happens with you if you go one year without a job. You know what 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 a long term unemployment is. Most of you completely fail in life with just one year of lack of employment. You know this. And how the fuck you did this to me for 28 years, this kind of stuff. And you were still not happy and you saw the, all kinds of solutions through through, through literally... Uh, I watched this Al Rocker. Uh, Al Rocker... The weatherman, Al Rocker, was the one who claimed me that I would know under no fucking circumstances will make it with the blood clots. He was, he, he was like a hundred percent sure that he wanted to, he was convincing me that he wants to see how I possibly could survive something that, that is, there is no fucking way I could or he alone managed to type of fucking game when you go and then you go to general hospital and you meet people that eventually engaged in torture against you and they tell you basically like this by giving you examination that is rather completely laughable and, and so on and the copy paste picture about your spine in Poland and stuff like this where the fuck do you get this from me eh? I mean, if you are up to European Union and United Nations, right? Or what the fuck are you up to? What you want to do with this stuff? I am trying to understand where you want to go with this stuff. Well, the systematic that you have taken, the ethics, are completely in line with the Adolf Hitler. Even more over, more so, Joseph Stalin. And... You know, the whole world fears of Joseph Stalin. Or I should say at least half of the world feels no good about Joseph Stalin. And let's say another half of the world, if there is, uh, feels no good about Adolf Hitler. But you have taken exactly at the United Nations, at the Interpol, at the International Police Association. That's exactly the fucking route you have taken. 
at European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, at European Parliament in Brussels, in Washington DC, in the White House, in Congress. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to understand where the fuck you're going with it. You, you just, you just keep loading and you just keep going and you just keep going. He's gonna make this step. He's gonna go into this what? Not world of unknown and we're gonna return and he's gonna go and he's gonna do something and then that, oh, and God will bless what? America. What the fuck? Where are you going with it? Wake the fuck up already. December the 28th, 2022. In a few days, I'm going to wish you a happy new year. It's going to be 2023. And you jiggled just 28 years to fail, to face the final fail. That is going to hurt you for some time to come. If you're going to be lucky, and if you're not going to be lucky, <laughs> well, then we're going to continue this game straight into the World War III. And that you're going to like even less. I really was not sure about what the hell this thing was about. But, my goodness, now I just see how big this thing was. Cancer, spine breaking, all these issues. This is actually a really, really, really small thing, right? Because it's all about what you're going to eat, how you're going to even look, and about causing damage. Constant harm, constant harm, humilia base with humiliations and stuff like this. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's also time for the rest of the world to understand this Western democracy, how it operates. Where the fuck this is coming from, this uh, a regretful royalist, royal, royal, royals. Never fell of you so little, never fell of you so low, with exception to the Japanese. I, because I really like Orientals. I like, I like, I like Asian culture. Uh, not that I would be doing some kind of, uh, taking uh, different kinds of uh, routes or something like this. They they established for me during MK Ultra or something like that. But just giving a thought about all this stuff, um, being of my so-called white race, white, proud, pride in white, Europe, Europa, what the fuck are you doing, eh? Cuckoo. Wake the fuck up. You're going to hell. And you're not going to make it out. You are going cuckoo. You are going to the motherfucker cuckoo land. Do you like your state representatives? Do you like your European court for human rights? Your European Union parliamentarians to run show like this? Well then why the fuck do you allow the people of Europe this stuff to go on? I cannot go and judge other cultures, not black, not Asian, not any culture, as long as you have a swines like this, inside of the European Union court, inside of the White House in the US, inside of the Congress in the US, where the hell are you taking all this stuff? To the fascism or something like this, I'm not interested in. Still not interested, still not convinced about it. Don't need any of that. 
So we did few cycles, we did few cycles, we did, we did, we did, we did, man. We did some badass cycles. And after 28 years, what is going to be now the cycle after 28 years? Are you going to make it through with lies, with what? Oh, so, you finally caught me. Ah, fuck it, now I have to kill you. Oh, okay. That's a... That's a solution. I'm not gonna argue with that one. That's a... That's the way to go. And then, you were not serious talking about the Putin, not about the Hitler, not about the Stalin. What the fuck were you serious about? I'm afraid only about one thing, and that's lying. Terrible, terrible, terrible lying. Terrible lying and causing harm, injury. I learned from the Dutch, from Amsterdam, from King William. I learned. They issued apology for the racial injustice to the black people. After a few centuries, now when this case is up, that makes sense. To keep this silent, place this on a, on a bank on a bank account and when you murder somebody else when you cause somebody else injustice for the future reference you're going to release apology for this case to my dead sperm to the children I don't know of to whom the fuck or maybe outer aliens I'm related to according to you because this is the European politic. This is Europa. Euro. Or you're trying, you're doing what? You're doing a favor to Vladimir Putin, to the Vlad, for his killing in Ukraine? So that Vlad doesn't feel too bad. You make him feel good. You make him feel, look good on a political stage. Oh, okay, royals. That's the point. You're making him during the slaughter in Ukraine, you're making him look good. The European Union is also not any better, right? You are a cheesy motherfuckers. Sorry to tell you, but there is no reason for you to exist. This case is going to be a trial of me against you. And this regardless of the country you are from, or you represent, or I don't give a three fucks, your country represents you. But it will enter the court, European court, and it will be addressed against you, and against the European court. I'm going to see where that takes to the next because that's all the fuck there is but silent waiting on my special friends those who like me who sympathize with me whose lives were threatened whose lives were endangered because of me I'm afraid I ain't gonna be doing that, that kind of stuff anytime soon I don't know how the world also is going to look at you. Whatever part of the world should understand that going this way, going, following this uh, 
European Union with uh, such principles like this, with uh, even NATO like this, this is not really much, you know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. You know, this is this is um, the world always spanned between the between the Warsaw Pact and between NATO, the post World War, but. You know, me, a staunch supporter of royals, of NATO, of European Union, during what used to be here, greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia, Yugoslav Federation. It was the same shit like a Soviet Union. No, actually that was probably worse than Soviet Union. I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Uh, I don't see myself in this in this circle of love anymore. Or maybe it's even because you don't need anymore for me to see myself in this circle. Or maybe you're already past that. Given that Russia no longer will exist tomorrow or that you accomplish your agenda on Eastern Front or something like this. But if you're not, you're going to be hell fucked. That I know too. Slovenia is not going to be the only one. Um, you're, you're giving back. Uh, this is just, just like a... Some kind of an institution next to each uh, graveyard, uh, like prison or mental institution from where people never come out. And right next to one is a graveyard. They have institutions like this. That's what the fuck you present with this uh, European Union institution. You are a poor, poor excuse for humanity. Um, humanity is going to have to go beyond failed United Nations. But I think for humanity overall, everything should start in United Nations. Those that look too much to European Union and to NATO should actually set their own standards. And so that... Um, and those that are too high you know, because if you like to, you know, too low, too high, the existing uh, NATO, most developed G20 or whatever you want states, and then the rest of the world that wants to get to this, to the level of NATO, I'm talking about issues I, I spoke earlier. Uh, something to what humanity should strive toward to. Um, you know. They can rely on. You, know, you have to have your own expectations which are going to force even those on the top to match at least, I'm going to say, a minimum of your requirements, some long-term goal where you want to go, where you want to, based on which you want to charter the world, or based, based on which you want to be seen as on this world. Because today the world is about survival anyways. This, nobody's offering shit anyways. Everybody's just looking to get by, basically. This isn't the world of uh, it's just not really a friendly place, man. This is all about, almost about every betray, everybody betraying everybody. And I, th I don't think this is, this should be, um, you know, I don't think this should be, uh, a choice for humanity. I don't think that, that, um, you know, the small nations that form most of this planet should, rely 
on a long-term commitment to one another. So that when tomorrow comes, basically, you know who you work with, you know who you partner, who, you know, how the world, you know, where you are heading, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Not on some high in a kind of uh, hola hoop, basically scam, robbery, finally murder. In the name of uh, saw nothing, heard nothing, know nothing. There's a whole fucking culture out there. It was formed, I've, I'm afraid it was formed inside of this house. The culture that I stated. The culture that just is, it's, it's based on betrayal. Based on, you know, being around this elites, being around this royals, Russians and American governments. I observed more than anything what absorbed my mind was just the interpretation to the world and how world, why world should just blindly follow uh, in their steps basically. Why is it just that um, What they presented was actually like a, like a chessboard, you know. I get this, I get here, this I get there, that I get here, that I get there, I get this, that, that. Uh, if I don't get this and that, I do this and that. I understand that, that those that lead the type of movement, this is, this is of essential uh, of essence, because it's a key to survival, I completely understand this, but um, I'm very much afraid that this logic is taking the wrong turn. I'm very, very much afraid that this logic is taking a turn, actually took turn towards something we already have managed to avoid somehow, some way in the past, but this time we will not. Because it's a, it's a literally, it's becoming, uh, it's becoming, and it's the royals that are promoter of this. It's it's a, it's literally a derision for life. It's a literally derision for human dignity. Literally, is a derision for human strength. It's derision for human intelligence. And I don't think that humanity in this millennium. This is what humanity should be based about. I think, I think in my opinion, which I'm going to exercise to my full potential, will not give up, will not retract from one. It will be much smaller price to pay for humanity to remove the royals out of the picture. Because they are unnecessary elements we are faced with in a daily life. It's a big sacrifice we're paying for the stuff that uh, is being used to entertain, to create the world of Panem et Circes, like they used to say in Rome. World of hunger and bread, basically uh, of, of games, Panem, bread, Circes, bread and games. That's what in old Rome used to be the gladiators entertained crowds all the crowds wanted was games and bread you know, this, all this stuff I see these games and bread all this stuff, these reality shows hunger games uh, game of thrones and all this where the fuck is it going this whole thing displaying a complete derision for what the fuck? We're going to eat each other here within our own society, within civilization, going to fucking eat a brain 
out to us like a fucking amoebas. Turn us into imbeciles. Come on. It's year 2023 almost. The clowns need to go off the picture. Romanos, Russian Romanos, if there will be any good, if there will be a little good in them, known to have exploited workers, known as the vampires, known to have betrayed those the most loyal to them, they would have children survived. So I was intrigued with the pictures the British oils demonstrated me about the Romanov. Romanov. All the time they push in my face Romanovs. Romanovs. I had no problem with Romanovs. And the tragedy, the children dead, they, 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 they liquidated everybody, they killed everybody. Real tragedy, children. The postcard, everybody remembered only about the phenomena of Bolshevism. Bolshevist, Bolshevik, Bolshevism, Communist, Bolshevism, Bolshevik, Bolshevism. Well, Bolshevik, Bolshevism, this is a frustrated idiotine. This is somebody who is mad. This is somebody who, who was evidently so exploited, so taken advantage of that went on to figure out that it is uh, better to have nothing and share with one another equally, redistribute, than to what the fuck went on. If they wouldn't figure out this, they would spare the lives of children. You get it? And we, because of those fucking postcards, we are heading again somewhere that was already acknowledged throughout the human history as the worst pattern you possibly can choose for the humanity. I have no words, I don't know what else I would say to this, but I'm not entertained with this uh, Panem et Circe's games. I am completely aware about what goes on, what was done to me, and even more so where the whole thing is going. Who is doing it? Who is behind it all? And how it was done. Gangsters, mobsters, use other gangsters and mobsters to do the job for them. But the elites, the royals, they do it through the police. They do it through the state. Only royals do it in the name of human rights movements. Only royals do the class. Only royals do the crime literally through the class. They literally target racial uh, classes uh, based on uh, social standing classes are based on only royals go through the certain categories to reach their full potential which evidently nothing ever was other than crime nobody else can do it we know exactly where this shit is coming from and we know exactly who does it how it's done and we're not gonna allow this to go just like this that's why in this video I'm calling you out. I'm coming out for you. There will be a fucking complaint. I will be updating this issue of mine. I will find the police complaint against you. 
I will go after you all the way. And if I die, so help me God, but I will not go into the night quietly.